today I will going to present uh, the rating system that we adopt for uh, we have uh, we are adopting in Sri Lanka uh, which I happen to be the the the, uh, the chair of the technical committee uh, so I will first introduce uh, the 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 cause uh, of uh, why we need a, a rating tool and why need we need a rating tool uh, for Sri Lanka and we have a beautiful uh, bell with a lot of green and, uh, and we, in the name of development we build cities, the pre-planned houses, uh, roads, our planners, architects all build cities. The earlier slide that you saw, uh, saw was Beijing, one of the most developed cities, so-called developed cities in the world. And uh, the, uh, when I visited uh, uh, Beijing in uh, last January, uh, the, this, the, it was uh, smog all over the place. The, the, the carbon dioxide levels were more than 1,000 ppm. So this carbon dioxide will trap, uh, uh, trap uh, heat, uh, sun's heat, and, and, and will, will uh, warm the, our atmosphere. The temperatures will cause a lot of disasters because temperatures control the climate. If the, 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 when you look at the outside, if you look at, uh, if you check the, the PPM levels, carbon dioxide level is around 400 PPM. We have gone beyond the uncontrollable limit. So we have to cut down. We have to cut down uh, at least by two, uh, 2050 to 500 PPM. Otherwise, the climate will be unco uncontrollable and we are, people will be uh, facing a lot of disasters. So when you look at the forest cover, uh, according to FAO, is about uh, 9.5 billion acres of trees. Uh, with respect to people, it's about four trees per person. So the forest cover is uh, only on the tropical land. It's, it's, it's very close to the equator. When you look at the deforestation, uh, Sri Lanka is the fourth highest in the, in the list. Fourth highest in the list. So we, 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 are, we are facing a lot of difficulties because of floods, the rain, the thunderstorms, uh, hurricane, hurricanes, and also uh, there are a lot of water shortages and the food shortages because we are, create, we are in the name of development, we are creating a doom world. This power may have been cited by many speakers ahead of me, which uh, says that uh, we don't inherit the earth, but we have borrowed from our future generation. So if we used to uh, do our designs and practice the designs that we do today, we need so many earths to satisfy our needs. We need, uh, if you use the energy the way, way we use, we need about eight and a half earths by 2050. We need cement uh, uh, of three, uh, three and a half, uh, half earths. Likewise, I can go on and on. So you cannot practice the way we practice today. We have to change. We are maybe practicing to a code or we, we, are, we may be practicing to a minimum standard, but we cannot continue. If we continue the way we practice now, uh, it will be, uh, we will not have uh, resources because we have only finite resource. So in 500 years, we will turn our beautiful earth, which has life uh, in our maybe one, one in uh, the Milky Way, uh, to a barren earth where nobody can live. So what shall we do? The main problem of, for all our uh, engineers, architects, and planners is to keep the, uh, make the development sustainable and address the problems today with economically. So when you look at the economical solution, a lot of people talking about the triple bottom line, where environment, social, and economy should be have a better balance. Uh, some of the 
professors, the educated people say this is wrong. He says the economy, uh, environment should be more, uh, be the biggest, uh, biggest uh, concern than the social and economic uh, aspects. So, actually, when you think about who disturbs the the the, uh, the globe, it's uh, it's uh, we are mainly responsible as the professionals who are dealing with buildings because it be contributes carbon dioxide, uh, uh, generate carbon dioxide every aspect of uh, what we do. Every line that we uh, make, uh, uh, we make uh, 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 every, every decision that we take will disturb the earth. That means uh, it will, like, uh, one ton of carbon di uh, dioxide will be generated if you use one ton of cement. So, uh, the, and also building sector use about 12% of the water and, and 40% of the generated, uh, waste generated by the, uh, the building sector will go for landfill. This is the Columbus City. What a beautiful city we have. It is one of the greener cities in the world. We, uh, Singapore is boasting their city as the garden city, the country as the garden city. Although they have a lot of trees, they don't have birds because the garden city is created by them by using the same plant. So if you have to have a variety of plants to have birds. So we have this city. Are we going to change by the name, sake of development to this? So gentlemen and ladies, please, uh, we need to rethink. We, re we need to think uh, how to design our, our environment, how to plan our environment, how to plan our buildings. The, this is the ideal solution. Zero fossil fuels, zero potable water, zero waste, zero carbon emissions, embedded materials. It's the ideal. But we have to uh, treat to that goal if we want to control our temperature uh, rise by 2050. So what is green building? A lot of, peop a lot of speakers ahead of me has talked about green building, different, different aspects of green building. According to uh, Professor Richard Rees of Durkin University, he says, of all things human build, building lasts the longest. Therefore, we have to get this correct. So our building design should not be just to satisfy the client's needs. It should be very futuristic. Our design should, uh, should be able to, uh, uh, we have to think from cradle to the grave. We have to think about the materials uh, that uh, we put into the building, what will happen after the building life. So, uh, so it's, 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 it's a very challenging thing. We have to think what, uh, if, you, if you're building a house for, uh, for, for you, you have to, uh, uh, for your son, you have to be, uh, he will change. Most of the time, the building use change. So build, building should be flexible to change. So we, we, we build for 100 years. If the building is not flexible change, there will be a lot of material wastage. I always say that uh, your son will not live in your, your house. I, I don't live in my father's house. I change. So it's useless to build for your children. You, you, you use uh, own waste material. Don't waste money. So use low energy material and low, low energy building. We have, in Sri Lanka, we have blessed with the sunlight from uh, 12 days, uh, seven days a week, 12 hours a day. So, but, and our temperatures are in the range of uh, 25 to 30 degrees, which is a livable temperature without air conditioning. We put the, uh, we, have, we design buildings for natural artificial light and artificial uh, ventilation systems. There is something wrong. We should not just copy from the, the waste. We should design the buildings that we have been designing earlier. Now, uh, earlier speaker, Dr. Pereira, was talking about going, uh, going, uh, doing madhads as hotels for tourists. So they pay good dollars to pay, be in a mud hut. So that is, that is, that is, that is, uh, that is 
That is the, 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 the trend now. So, so when we are designing, we have to think differently. So we have to uh, uh, make sure our materials can be reused, like steel or approved timber, to be used. And key elements that we design should be durable uh, and, and sustainable. Let's build more roads, railroads, than ro highways, so that we can transport goods and material more efficiently. So let's answer this question, what is this green rating system? Why you need the rate buildings? A lot of people will say we are anyway, all those speakers told, we are all anyway doing. So why you need a, a rating tool? And we know all, the, all these things that we have been heard throughout the day. But it's very important to know where you are. Unless you rate and give a weighting for your, your, your system, then uh, you don't know how efficient your system are. And also you don't know how to improve. Also, we, we have, a lot of people say to us, why you, uh, we, uh, there are a lot of uh, rating tools. Uh, let's, uh, the most popular rating tool is uh, LEED uh, US, USA. BREAM UK is the first rating tool to rate buildings. There are many rating tools like Australian Green Star, many, many things. Even in our regions, we have LEED India, Indonesia, a green building rating tool. So why you need one? We can just copy one from others. What we have done is, uh, actually the research was done by uh, architect Ravi Hansa and uh, Professor Priyandas of University of Moratua. Uh, we have considered about 88 rating systems. This rating system considered, considered consider the issues that face by that country. When you look at uh, the water stress, water stress, uh, Jordan has a higher water stress than Sri Lanka or UK because they don't have water. When you look at the land, urban land availability, Jordan have more land than they, uh, than the, uh, the, they need when you, uh, than the Sri Lanka or USA. You might think we have a lot of land. It's not there. Urban uh, available, urban avail land available to build is not there. It's very evident when we, do, uh, when we came across tsunami, there were a lot of donors to build. Uh, money was there to build, but there was no land. When you look at the energy usage, the per capita energy use is very high in USA, where uh, Sri Lanka is not there. So our, 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 our stresses, our behaviors, our issues are different to other, other, other countries. Therefore, we need a rating tool. We need a rating tool. So this is a rating tool done by, uh, by uh, association of a lot of professionals, academia, across the island. So uh, I have to uh, mention a lot of names are in the, in all the names are mentioned in the, uh, uh, in, the, in the document. So all the university professors from all universities, uh, technical universities, uh, all professionals from different, different areas, architects, engineers, mechanical engineers, planners were involved. And also we have uh, involved, uh, used the local authority documents uh, to, uh, to formulate this document. When we are formulating the document, we thought what to do, I mean, what to follow. We should not do an arbitrary document, which will be, uh, will be with some completely different to others. Since LEED uh, US is a very popular document, and a lot of people knew about it, we thought to follow the LEED US model. So mostly, the, if you look at the, the, the similar, similar, similar format is uh, there in our document. So local studies were considered, University of Moratua studies were considered, uh, sustainable energy authority document were referred, all the statutory standards were referred, and we introduced new chapters like building a management uh, rating systems, and there are a lot of, a lot, all the rating tools has the economics and the environment side, but never it included the social side. So this is the only document has the social aspect incorporated 
in their rating tool. So in our rating tool, we will look at the management side, the sustainable sites, water efficiency. We will look at the energy, how efficient your building is. We will look at the materials uh, used, how sustainable that is. We will look at the indoor environment quality, how, 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 uh, how uh, conducive to live that in that environment. And we will also look at the innovative uh, design aspects and also the social and cultural uh, aspects of your building. So, since, as I told you, uh, every aspect doesn't have the same weightage because the issues are different. So, we have given the sustainable size the highest weightage when compared to the energy, where most of the countries, energy has been the main, uh, main, main uh, focus. Uh, water and materials has 14 uh, uh, points, per same percentage, in environment quality, uh, a little bit less, but others also given, the, the, uh, uh, given about 4%. So when we compare different standards, you cannot compare apple to apple because there are different issues. Some, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some ratings tools have not considered. Uh, you can see uh, when we compare the lead US and green SL, we have uh, the, like the sustainable sites, uh, green SL has uh, 25 mark, uh, points. Uh, when you co uh, compare the, the water efficiency, 14 points with respect to uh, US, uh, then uh, tw 22 points, the material, uh, uh, energy, we have 22 with, with respect. Uh, uh, with respect to 32 of U.S. leads, uh, then the material 14 with respect to leads is uh, 13. Indo environment almost the same, and uh, there there is no management chapter uh, uh, in the leads, but uh, innovation uh, is there, and 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 the social and cultural awareness. So, when you look at the rating tool, it has eight categories. There are prerequisites, must, must conditions. You have to satisfy that. Then you have the credits. And uh, intent uh, is there for every credit. Why we want, uh, why, what is the intent? And the requirement. What is the requirement to satisfy intent? And we, were, uh, we, uh, we give points. So, The rating tool, uh, uh, rating is achieved uh, based on the number of uh, numbers. Uh, if it is 40 marks, uh, you will get uh, certified, uh, 50 silver, 60 gold, and platinum above 70. Likewise. I will, uh, I will discuss only one or two points in the management se sector. Now, management sector, we said pre, uh, one point, green building, accreditation professional. When you look at the intent is to encourage people to use our professional. We have uh, trained about 40 uh, engineers, uh, uh, 40 accredited professionals, at the moment, for about, more, sorry, for more than 400 accredited professionals. Uh, to, today also there is a course, parallel course going on at ICTAD. So every, uh, every year we have about uh, two or three courses. And so it is a requirement, it's a prerequisite. If you look at the building user guide, it's a mandatory issue. Uh, if you have a, most of the time, uh, we don't have building user guide. We build, uh, do a building, but we don't have a user guide. You don't have drawings. You don't have manuals to operate your generator. Uh, no training manual. So uh, this is, if you have that, we will give you a point. And also the site selection, very important to, uh, the main idea of site selection is to, uh, uh, to drive the development to urban areas, not to uh, touch the, the cultivated uh, lands. If you have uh, 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 one of the, uh, the issues, uh, uh, if, 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 you have, if you are building something in the cultivated land, uh, that is the prime agricultural land, we will not consider for, for, for rating. It's, 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 it's a requirement. You only have, we, we will allow only, uh, 
only the, the land that is uh, totally uh, dedicated for buildings, that is urban land. Uh, if you are building something, then do you have to have a special permission from the council, uh, council to, to, to build or recognition? So during construction, we should make sure you are sustainable construction. You, are, you, are, you should not pollute the environment uh, during construction. Uh, it's a requirement. And also, we, we, want, we, do, we don't want you to build uh, buildings where it will get flooded every, every uh, rain. So generally, we, we, we recommend uh, to uh, build buildings above 1.5 meters above the 50-year flood level. So likewise, we have uh, so heat island effect, sustainable. We, we like to have light too, so that you will not, uh, not, uh, not heat the environment in the night. Uh, so, uh, and, and also encourage uh, green roofs so that we can, we can uh, re- uh, create the environment that we have destroyed. So likewise, even uh, the night pollu light pollution, we, uh, we do not want uh, to, uh, we don't want and do not encourage people to light up the whole way, uh, area so that the night life creatures can, uh, cannot live. So water efficiency, what is very important? We consider water uh, very cheap. If you uh, take this bottle of water, Water is about, one litre bottle is about 140 rupees. A petrol litre is about uh, 170 rupees or 160 rupees. No, it's very comparable. It is uh, higher than the, the, the milk. So you don't have to worry about people putting water into the milk. Okay. So it's, it's very, uh, we think which water is, uh, it's very, we, we have to think when we water, our, our, when we wash our cars, with potable water, very expensive. When we will, garden, we will put, put water into our gardens uh, with potable water. It's very, and also the, we put uh, uh, water into our closets, uh, water closets. The potable water is very expensive. We consider big, uh, it's very cheap. We, uh, we consider very cheap because government is subsidizing. If, they, if we pay the correct amount, we will not go to the toilets. So, so we will use carefully. So uh, rainwater harvesting is very important. Uh, most of the time we think uh, rainwater is uh, uh, for uh, harvesting is for dry zones. And actually, the rainwater harvesting is for the wet zones. Dry zones, that is why our kings have built big tanks to collect water. Dry zones, a lot of people, the donors go and put uh, their uh, funds in the dry zone to collect rainwater. Rain, most of the time it is empty. But if you have rainwater uh, harvesting tank uh, in your house, if you are living in Colombo, if one or two rains is more than enough for your whole, whole month uh, to, uh, to wash your cars and uh, plant your uh, plants. What are your plans? So, so think about gentlemen and ladies. Uh, unfortunately, this gentleman is telling me to stop. I will stop. Thank you. <laughs>